Hello everybody. So today I'm going to ferment this broccoli. It's called a Romanesco broccoli. And it looks really interesting. It's quite beautiful. It has all these spirals. It just shows us how our world, our natural world is made up of beautiful spirals. Very easy to ferment Romanesco broccoli. All I need is a pair of scissors, some water, mustard seeds, salt, pepper, and a jar that I can actually put the broccoli in. These can be used for later. These will be used to push down the broccoli so it doesn't come up to the surface and it can stay under the water. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pieces off. It's really, really simple. Very, very simple. I'm going to just cut them off one by one. Even the leaves, leaves are tasty. That we can also use to push down all the broccoli. Yeah, beautiful. Perfection. Add some salt. Some mustard seeds. Some pepper. Mineral water. About 700 mils. Let's taste that water. A little bit less saltier than the seed, let's say. That's one way of doing it. But it's got to be quite salty. If it's not salty, it's not going to work. From there, I grab my jar. Oh, this goodness. The Romanesco broccoli tastes really, really nice when it's fermented. I gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of vegetables growing up. And I actually just ate them because I knew they were good for me. But I must say, since I started fermenting five years ago, I have so much more appreciation for vegetables and I can eat just about any vegetable this way because it just tastes so good. Put some more water in it until you fill up the jar. So once that's done, you take these pieces. What I can do is I can cut it in half. And take this piece, put it here, push down. Take this piece, put it here, close it. Beautiful spiral. 